With more snow on the way right now, a warning from Maine's first responders and hospital staffs. Don't push yourself too much while clearing away that snow. In fact, just today, the Penobscot County Sheriff's Office tells us two people died from medical events while using snowblowers. Pushing a snowblower, they say, can be strenuous, just like shoveling. Add onto that the cold air, and it is a recipe for stressing your entire body, but especially your heart. Shoveling snow is one of the most stressful th things to, on your body. You're using all your muscles, you're using your core, um, and it just makes your heart work really hard. When you go out shoveling, especially if it's heavy, take breaks more frequently, shovel slower, don't kind of go rushing through it. And the older you are, the more at risk you are, so just be careful. And with that in mind, they say consider hiring someone to do it for you or getting a neighbor to chip in and help. If you are the one shoveling, they say push the snow around instead of lifting it. If you have to lift it, consider a smaller shovel or one that is only partially filled. Mm. It's so easily you want to just get all that snow you in there and heave it over. I was just saying that to my wife recently, like uh, I'm about to turn 40. Let's not make a big deal of it. But um, <laughs> when I was shoveling recently, I do it the blitz. Oh, and yeah. I started thinking, mm. I'm like, now like this heart rate that I've got going doesn't feel the same to me normal. as it did before. You're not 20 anymore. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Botox can only do so much, Brian. Let's have a look <laughs> at the radar, which shows the first band moving in, the first decent band. We've had some flurries kind of flitting around here and there, but nothing all that heavy. And this is the first real meat and potatoes part of this. And already you can see out towards Sebago, it has some decently uh, heavy bands. I was showing you before, look at that onshore flow right there connecting with this. That's a coastal front towel usually. It makes me think the coastal front's gonna set up right around here and then down to the coast in York County as well. Finally, we're filling in this big hole in the radar that we had. It was concerning how big this hole in the radar was and now it's starting to get some moisture into it with some more lift, which is good. But it totally blew up the forecast uh, down in parts of southern New England because the snow just never got there. So over the next few hours, snow works in from uh, southwest to northeast. By 7, it's into Augusta and Rockland. And then we get into the heavier bands of snow. We talked about 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight as late as midnight in some spots, that's when the heaviest snow will be. Meanwhile, along the coast, we will be fighting with the rain snow line, and I think it will really be super local, where even, let's just say, Portland to uh, Cape Elizabeth, there'll be a difference. We change over to rain far before, I think, downtown Portland, but I do think Portland, Wiscasset, Rockland are changed over by midnight. And then after that, it's snowing across the interior foothills, mountains until uh, the early morning hours. Even they eventually change over to rain. But by the time that happens, most of the precipitation is done. So the good news for ski areas and uh, you know snowmobile trails in the mountains is there will be rain, but there won't be a ton of rain on top of it. We're done by midday, and then we are cool tomorrow night and quiet on Friday with quite a bit of sunshine. So snowfall rates here are going to be high for a brief period of time. And that looks like, again, 8 to midnight. And the snowfall rate over an inch is really heavy stuff. This, this model indicates a couple that are around 2 inches an hour briefly. So you can do the math on that. It doesn't take long then to get to 6 to 12 inches if you're putting down 1.8 to 2 inches an hour in Freiburg. And that continues through the early morning hours and then the snowfall rates lighten and lift to the north by Thursday morning. So this map basically looks the same as it did uh, before. I'm going to get out of the way of down east because we got your emails. Uh, 1 to 3 in Eastport Machias into Bar Harbor, 3 to 6 along the coastline, 6 to 12 for a good part of the state. And then Todd put these little bullseyes in. There aren't any numbers on it, but it's implied to me this is over 12 inches of snow as a possibility in some of the higher terrain especially. So that storm is done Friday, Saturday, Look good. Next storm is Sunday night, but it's not a big deal. It's more like a clipper. So it's probably a two to four, maybe three to five deal. Not a huge deal. Next significant storm could be a week from today, which gives us a little bit of a breather. Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, nothing frigid in there, by the way, which temperature wise, we continue mm. to be way above average for this winter, but at least it looks more like it looks appropriate for yes. January now. Yes. And the bulk of the snow will be overnight, which is helpful. To yeah, I think delays at worst tomorrow should be able to get it done. Good news there. Yeah. All right, Keith, thanks so much.